starts now. Good evening and welcome to Newswatch 12. I'm Nate Myhock. A house caught fire in Harshaw this afternoon. No injuries were reported as the homeowner was not home at the time. One first responder told Newswatch 12 that the fire likely had the home entirely engulfed in flames at one point. No word on what caused the fire as it is still under investigation. There was also a structure fire in Presque Isle today. Initial investigation shows that it started on the lower right side of the duplex. No one was in the building when the fire started and there are no reported injuries. At this point, there is nothing that appears suspicious in nature. The fire appears to have started from the kitchen. And Jeff, if you take a look at those mercury levels, they just keep going lower and lower. Yeah, it's cold out there. There's some light fog and drizzle across the area now as well. And the problem is that temperatures are this threat outside right now. It's like 20. And so that fog and drizzle is freezing on contact, making for some slippery roadways out there right now. That will continue for several more hours tonight. So expect slippery conditions into tomorrow morning. All right, on satellite picture, you can hardly see it, right? Just some dark clouds across the area now. But there is some fog and drizzle in here. Uh, and there is visibility. You can see exactly where it is uh, from Rhinelander and Eagle River back toward the west toward uh, Medford area. Uh, we'll keep it going for several more hours tonight. It's all freezing on contact, so untreated surfaces are going to have issues tonight into tomorrow morning. All right, then our attention turns toward the west and a little system is going to come by tomorrow evening about five o'clock or so and bring some snow to the area along and north of Highway 8. We could be shoveling that snow tomorrow evening. Your forecast tonight though is some fog out there and drizzle, freezing drizzle with low temperatures down near 11. Your full forecast is coming up, Nate. Thank you, Jeff. Joe Biden spoke with Russian President Vladimir Putin this afternoon. The goal of the call was to defuse a crisis taking place on Russia's border with Ukraine. The White House shared this photo of Biden on the call. U.S. officials say that Putin requested the call for reasons that are not clear. As many as 100,000 Russian troops have remained at the Ukrainian border, and that's despite warnings from Biden and European leaders saying there would be serious consequences should Putin move ahead with an invasion. Biden hopes that Thursday's phone call will yield more progress in easing tensions. The Biden administration is now asking the Supreme Court to review its case to end a Trump-era immigration policy. The so-called Remain in Mexico program keeps migrants at the border until their U.S. court date. The Department of Homeland Security attempted to end the program, but a federal judge in Texas ordered it to remain active. That happened back in August. Earlier this month, three Republican appointed judges in the U.S. Fifth Circuit Court rejected Biden's appeal. The government is now asking the Supreme Court to review the case. Two Afghan refugee families arrived in Wausau yesterday. These photos come courtesy of the organization New Beginnings for Refugees. As you can see, a lot of people were there to welcome their new neighbors. More Afghan families are expected to come in the new year. A Trump era policy is not the only request Joe Biden has for the Supreme Court. The administration is now asking the court to not block the federal COVID vaccine and testing mandate for large employers. The mandate would require companies with more than 100 people to have their staff fully vaccinated or have their employees undergo regular testing and wear face coverings while at work. The Department of Justice wrote a filing stating that the requirement would save thousands of lives and, and prevent more hospitalizations. And they also added that if the court does block the vaccine requirement, testing and mask mandates should remain in place. The U.S. Supreme Court plans on holding oral argument for the case on January 7th. The White House says it will not begin enforcing the employer mandate until January 10th. And they also plan on waiting to implement the health care worker mandate, at least until the legal challenges have played out. The Wisconsin Department of Health Services is asking parents and guardians to take action in slowing the spread of COVID-19. They are asking parents to get their child vaccinated against the coronavirus, including a booster dose as soon as they are eligible. They also ask that your child wears a well-fitting mask in all public indoor spaces, including schools, even if it is not required. And finally, they ask parents to get their kids tested if they are experiencing symptoms. And of course, if your child does test positive, they ask you to keep them out of school and other activities. 
And while those plans will help kids stay healthy and safe, there are many children in schools who are under the age of five, and that means they are not eligible to get the vaccine. But they say the best way to keep kids safe is to get vaccinated yourself. For all of us to remember that there are still a lot of children under the age of five who aren't yet eligible to be vaccinated. And so we can do our part by getting vaccinated and doing all the things we need to do to help keep them safe. Johnson & Johnson says their booster dose does protect people against severe illness from the Omicron variant. One study from South Africa showed the vaccine's effectiveness rose 84% in 14 to 27 days after a booster shot. The effectiveness then rise to 85% one to two months after receiving the booster. And that study was conducted while Omicron was circulating in South Africa. Meanwhile, a little closer to home, a study from the US showed that the J&J &J booster had a strong immune response against severe illness. The company says the studies are being submitted to a peer reviewed journal. And speaking of booster shots, Israel will begin administering a fourth dose of the COVID vaccine. They will offer the booster beginning on Friday. The plan is to initially offer the fourth dose to people with suppressed immune systems. The Israeli government is hoping that this can avoid implementing any sort of lockdown, and it's part of their policy to make the vaccine a primary focus during the pandemic. Tonight we have an inspirational story about a man who has logged thousands of miles racing his fat tire bike while also raising awareness about kidney donations. Newswatch 12's Kyle Pazorski explains how one kidney donor wants to show people that you can continue life as normal while also helping to save others. If you're healthy enough to um, donate, you're healthy enough to live with one kidney. Mark Scotch is about to compete in a 160 mile race through Northern Wisconsin. So you can either do it on foot, ski or bicycle. I'm doing it on fat bike this year. And the idea is just try to <laughs> beat the winner, I guess. <laughs> He says while it seems ambitious, he's ready through years of training for endurance races like the Tuscobia. Chris, my oldest son, took off for college. He left his old mountain bike sitting in the garage, so I started riding that, and one thing led to another. We've done other races here and in Minnesota. I actually went up to Alaska one year and did a race up there, actually. So I've been through 30 below even. Scotch has participated in endurance races for years, but since September of 2020, he's been racing and living life with only one kidney after learning about the donation process from a man he met while taking a trip to Texas. In that second he needed a kidney, I knew that I could donate because my sister-in-law had donated about 14, 15 years ago, and I knew, you know, she did fine afterwards. And it just kind of hit me like, I can do this. I can donate a kidney for this guy, and I told him I would. According to the National Kidney Foundation, one out of every 750 people are born without a kidney. Scotch believes facts like this show people can live a healthy life without a second kidney. My wife and I were both amazed. We always consider ourselves fairly, you know, educated and fairly uh, up to speed. And when all these facts started coming out, it just blew me away that we didn't know this. And I thought, well, there's got to be other people that don't know this, that if they knew, they might do something. And he says the time came to make a difference and hopes others will consider donating. You know, the biggest thing is that you can donate and go back to your life. I think that's the main thing, and that's what I'm, why I'm doing all this on one kidney. In Rice Lake, Kyle Pazorski, Newswatch 12. And as you can see, biking can be a popular Northwoods activity, even during the winter. After the break, we'll tell you how one Rhinelander organization is hoping to make winter recreation a little bit easier. That's after Maine Weather with Jeff, right here on News Watch 12. <laughs> Surprise! It's a new Buick. Mm -hmm. Got me a new Buick? Oh. And there are more guests inside. You got me the head up display. You did steering wheel. It's a massaging seat. Okay, okay, what next? Alexa, turn on holiday lights. This year, give the gift of technology in every Buick SUV. Pay no interest for 72 months plus current eligible Buick owners. Get 500 purchase allowance on Buick SUV models. Wisconsin's classic rock station. The Bob and Tom Show. Middays with Kara, Duff, Delos, and Nights with Alice Cooper. The Rock, the rock of Northern Wisconsin. Rock 105.3 WRLO. Whether it's for work or play, you want a truck. A truck that'll get the job done right. We have them all. Half-ton trucks, Power Strokes, Cummins, Duramax, SUVs. 
over 800 to choose from. Know that all Lens trucks are fully inspected, certified clean, can be purchased online, and can be delivered right to your door. It's our way of saying thanks to our past and future customers for the last 35 years. Go now to LensTruck.com. Lens Truck. Most pubs have a football team, a darts team. This pub has a choir, always has, and we are the Choir of Man. Wake me up when it's all over. The hottest show stunning audiences across the globe has landed stateside. Join the Choir of Man in the best pub show you've ever been to. Raise your glass to the Choir of Man. At the Grand Theater, downtown Wausau. Get the latest news on the weekends with News Watch 12. Saturday and Sunday at 10 with your weekend news team. Cooper Henkel, the sports team, and Andrew P. Caper, News Watch 12. Welcome back, my friends. You and I can chat weather for about four minutes. And all right, so today, some light snow, some flurries, some drizzle, some light snow, some flurries, some drizzle, and press repeat. That was our day today. Even a little bit of sunshine earlier. That, of course, is now gone. But there's still some drizzle left over. That's a problem because high temperatures were below freezing today, of course. Uh, the average high being 24. We had 23. Uh, and it's still cold out there right now. So here are the averages. The average low is 6. The record low, 29 below back in 1917. And the sun is setting later now at 423. Okay, so going forward out there currently, it's uh, temperatures hanging out. They're not moving much, right? They're near 20 right now because all the cloud cover and drizzle in the atmosphere, it kind of keeps like a blanket on the atmosphere and keeps those temperatures where they are. And that will continue for several more hours until around daybreak tomorrow. We'll get some clear skies for a couple hours that will make temperatures drop into the low teens all right, and there's lots of cold air to go around this is all kind of ready to pounce on us beginning late tomorrow night and then through the weekend it has a short shelf life though as we have some uh, colder air in the forecast saturday and sunday new year's day of course is saturday uh, with high temperatures generally below 10 uh, for the entire region in fact here's that trend tomorrow 25 so just like today right but then nine on saturday seven on sunday but then right back up again but overall, below average temperatures, great news for the trails and the lakes around here that are freezing up pretty quickly now, uh, and great for snowmobile trail lanes as well. All right, so going forward, looking outside now, uh, this is the problem because there's some fog and drizzle in the air. Not a lot of it, but it doesn't take much freezing drizzle to cause lots of issues, and that's out there currently. It's going to continue for several more hours tonight, and visibility shows as well. So where it's reduced visibility, uh, we're talking, you know, some fog, and that fog is freezing on surfaces that are not treated and that will keep things slippery into tomorrow morning and there's nothing really intense in here you know visibility less than a quarter mile is heavy snow you know a half mile is moderate snow and that's not happening it's all kind of freezing drizzle and light fog out there right now uh, okay so uh, currently the satellite picture shows the cloud cover is having a hard time picking up though the fog and drizzle because it kind of lies underneath the radar beam about 7,000 feet up so you get the idea there is some fog and drizzle in here and lots of cloud cover but then the attention turns toward the west and there's a little system right in there that's going to zip across the great lakes tomorrow and bring us some snow to far northern wisconsin most likely along and north of highway 8 and then another system is going to come through southern wisconsin on saturday and bring them lots of snow in milwaukee chicago area uh the first one though is right here and notice that i stopped this tomorrow around four or five o'clock in the afternoon that light snow across far north Northern Wisconsin. Then we watch this system here. That one's going to travel to our south. You're traveling to Chicago, Indianapolis, Cleveland, Detroit. Saturday, they're going to have some issues with the air traffic there for sure. All right, for us though, going forward, snowfall wise tomorrow, a very narrow band here of 40 miles or so that could see an inch or two, maybe three inches of snow tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. It looks like around one to two, probably likely with that. Three is going to be a stretch. Our forecast then for tonight though is light snow and flurries out there continue and that fog at freezing fog with low temperatures down near 11 for tomorrow. It's Friday, uh, light snow and flurries and then lighter snow uh, to moderate snow north of Highway 8 tomorrow evening with high temperatures near 25. And then looking ahead, your seven day forecast by Northwest Furniture Metro shows snow tomorrow night along and north of Highway 8. And then here
Year's, uh, New Year's Day, a high of nine, cold, right? Sunday, same story, and then rebounding back into the 20s, Monday, Tuesday, into Wednesday. Nate. Sounds great, Jeff. Thank you. An important part of maintaining good cross-country ski trails is grooming them. Newswatch 12's Morgan Johnson tells us how one local organization will use a new machine to better its trail system. We like it today because she skate skis and I classic and we can go at the same time. Rita Dobbins and her daughter Annie ski as much as they can and when they do they have a favorite spot. We say we'll meet an hour half and <laughs> but it's beautiful trails. Plenty of trails. The Washburn trail system in Rhinelander is a favorite for many even for out of towners like the Delborns from North Carolina. I love how quiet it is and when it snows and just it's just beautiful. Yeah, I just love being out in nature and being able to, like, enjoy the snow. The Rhinelander Area Silent Trails Association, or RASTA, puts in a lot of work to make sure the trails are in good condition. That's the job of grooming coordinator Dennis Zielinski. Sometimes we do get into a time crunch between when the skiers want to be out here and we're, when we're grooming. Zielinski says with the recent purchase by the organization, the grooming process could speed up. For the last nine years or so, we've been using snowmobiles to pull the groomers, and now it's time to replace one of those, and we decided to uh, invest the money into a gator. The gator was purchased with funds from the organization, as well as a lot of generous donations. The gator even has heat inside, but Zelensky says a new and improved machine means adjustment. There's going to be a learning curve for all the groomers to get used to it because the tracks, instead of being down the middle, like they are on a snowmobile, they're going to be on the side. The gator will be a nice addition, but either way, some skiers come back time after time. It's well-groomed. I yeah. mean, they really do a nice yeah. job. <laughs> it's beautiful. Reporting for Newswatch 12 and Rhinelander, I'm Morgan Johnson. When Aaron Rodgers decides to retire, whenever that may be, he will no doubt be a first ballot Hall of Famer. But he may not be the only Packer expecting a phone call from Canton in the near future. I'll explain after the break. Hi, I'm Tammy from Arpin, and I came to see Dr. Cher with severe lower back pain and nerve pain, and I was also unable to walk or stand without any help. Many of my appointments, I needed to use a walker, and I was having a hard time even getting to his appointments riding in a vehicle. He was able to um, get me moving again, doing the things I love to do. I was able to get rid of my walker. I was able to ride in a vehicle longer than an hour. I am forever grateful to him and his wonderful staff. Are you suffering with back or neck pain and considering the possibility of surgery? At the Spinal Aid Center of Wausau, we incorporate the latest technologies, including high-intensity laser therapy that provides the highest success rates in helping people just like you avoid back and neck surgery. With our treatments, there are no drugs and no surgery, just relief. Call today for a free spinal disc severity consultation and see if our treatments are right for you. Call 715-203-4392 or visit us at SpinalAid.com. Start living your life pain-free. It's the final days of the Ford Get Holiday Ready sales event. Your last chance to get the best deals of the year on Ford F-Series. America's number one selling trucks for 44 years straight. Only a few more days to save on our full lineup of Ford SUVs. Hurry in. It's the final days of the Ford Get Holiday Ready sales event. Now choose FlexBuy on a 2021 Ford F-150 and get 0% financing for 66 months plus 500 cash back. The North Woods can be a hotbed of severe weather. To stay up to the minute on when and where storms will hit, tune in to the weather team you can count on. Weather Watch 12. Chief Meteorologist Jeff Weller and Meteorologists Devin Biggs and Andrew Keycaper break down severe weather live on WJFW, Facebook Live, and the WJFW Weather app so you and your family can be prepared and safe from severe weather. Weather Watch 12. From where you live. Coming up on your Friday, we'll meet our new furry friend from the Oneida County Humane Society. A little bit more snow on the way for the day on Friday. Some areas can see up to an inch or less of snow before we're all said and done and cool off. More when you tune in on your Friday. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Stone Innovations, Rhinelander and Plover. 
Bowl season is in mid-swing for college football fans. Tomorrow night, the college football playoffs will begin. Unfortunately for Wisconsin fans, the wait to join the big dance will continue at least for another year. But the Badgers are in action tonight. They're taking on Arizona State in the Las Vegas Bowl. Both teams enter with identical eight and four records. This game kicked off at 9.30 local time. And as of right now, the score is 14 to three in favor of Wisconsin. That game is late in the first quarter. The Milwaukee Bucks were kicked out of their home arena for a few days as the Wisconsin men's hockey team held their holiday face-off at the Pfizer Forum. Luckily for the Bucks, their road trip included two stops in warm Orlando. And the Magic have been struggling this season. The Bucks, meanwhile, looking for their fifth win in a row. Early in this game, Giannis Antetokounmpo showing off his skills as he knocks down this jump shot. The Bucks would gain a sizable first half lead in this game, but Orlando would come roaring back. They even took the lead at one point in the third quarter. Franz Wagner led Orlando with 20 points. They had six players in double figures, but eventually Milwaukee would blow the doors off of this one. Giannis puts up 33 points. Drew Holiday chipped in with 25, and the Bucks win 136 to 118. The last time the Vikings and Packers played each other, it was inside the climate-controlled U.S. Bank Stadium. This time around, things are going to be looking a little different. The mercury might drop below zero on Sunday night in Green Bay, and when your stadium is nicknamed the Frozen Tundra, it's probably something you expect to see from time to time. Matt LaFleur says he'll have the easy job just having to layer up on the sidelines, but he did say the extra psychological juice of playing in such cold weather could give the Packers a bit of a boost. Our players definitely have to get get their mind right for that. And in my opinion, I, I do think it's one of the advantages that we have of playing in an outdoor environment. In that game, the Packers and Aaron Rodgers will get one of their best weapons back on the field. Marquez Valdez Scanling has been activated from the reserve COVID-19 list. He only missed one game. That was last week against Cleveland. But before, but before being put on that list, MVS had arguably his best performance of the year against the Ravens. He caught five passes for 98 yards and one touchdown. And, and former Packer great now Leroy Butler, now one step closer to football immortality. On Thursday, the Pro Football Hall of Fame released its list of finalists for the 2022 enshrinement ceremony. Butler played from the Packers from 1990 to 2001. He was a member of the Super Bowl 31 winning team, and he was named to the NFL's all 90s decade team. He'll find out whether or not he made the hall in February. I'll be at Lambeau Field on Sunday night, and of course, I'll give you a full recap of the game right here on News Watch 12. And now coming up after the break, we'll explain how your New Year's resolution could get a boost from a furry friend. That's next after the break. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Furniture and Appliance Mart. Fireworks Country has everything you need to create a New Year's tradition under a fireworks filled sky. Celebrate New Year's Eve and welcome the new year with a bang. Fireworks Country, located at the Big Blue Barn, one mile west of Wittenberg on Highway 29. See your local Northern Wisconsin and UP ski -Doo dealers. Here is your Newswatch 12 Ski and Board Report, brought to you by Ski Brule. Chevy is taking people lots of places this holiday. We're going sledding! 
We're going to find the perfect tree. We're going to Nana. Let your Chevy dealer take you there with Chevy Red Tags, where the price you see is the price you pay. Happy holiday from Chevy. Find new places, find new roads. Very well qualified buyers may also be eligible to get 0% financing on all Silverado 1500 crew cab pickups. Plus, you may qualify for $500 bonus cash when you find your red tag or use that bonus cash to get a $1500 total cash allowance. The Northwoods can be a hotbed of severe weather. To stay up to the minute on when and where storms will hit, tune in to the weather team you can count on. Weather Watch 12. Chief Meteorologist Jeff Weller and Meteorologists Devin Biggs and Andrew Keycaper break down severe weather live on WJFW, Facebook Live, and the WJFW Weather app so you and your family can be prepared and safe from severe weather. Weather Watch 12. From where you live. Fireworks Country has everything you need to create a New Year's tradition under a fireworks-filled sky. Celebrate New Year's Eve and welcome the new year with a bang. Fireworks Country, located at the Big Blue Barn, one mile west of Wittenberg on Highway 29. I know there are some kids out there who asked Santa Claus for a new pet dog or a cat, and maybe they were a little disappointed when they woke up on Christmas Day. But having a pet can actually be very beneficial for a family around this time of year. And if you're hoping to be healthier in 2022, having a pet at home can make that a little easier. Mandy Gaither explains in today's Health Minute. If you hope to ring in a healthier new year, you may find motivation close to home. Letting our pets help us to get healthy is a great way to go. Tim Martin with Best Friends Animal Society says if your goal is to get moving in 2022, your furry friend can help. You get a dog that knows what it means when you put on your, your walking shoes or your running shoes. They'll bring you their leash. They want to get out and get exercise too. Some cats may even like to stroll and your animals can also help lower stress. Even just eye contact with our dogs and cats is healthy because those, you know, elicit a feeling of love and comfort for us. And if your goal is to eat better, many fruits and veggies like apples and baby carrots are safe for your dog to enjoy too. You do some research, find out what kind of healthy snacks you can have for yourself and share with your pet. That would be a great way to keep your, your New Year's resolution to stay healthy. Over the course of the pandemic, many have felt isolation, but walking your pet can get you in the fresh air and allow you to be social with others at a distance. It may also help mental health as well, allowing you to remember the good things in your life. This is a great time to stop and focus on how much our pets give back to us. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. WXPR invites you to explore the magical variety of classical music with a different host each day of the week. You'll be treated to works familiar, unexpected, and always delightful. Nine until noon weekdays on WXPR. Think about your job. Now, imagine your new job. It is a possibility. If you're good at what you do, have confidence and drive, maybe it's time to go here. Good jobs need good people, and now's a very good time. Kasurik Automotive has good jobs waiting in Wausau, Stevens Point, and Rhinelander, and the Bennies are bountiful. Check it out. It might be your time to fly. Duck on eggs, bird on batter. You can't escape the nightmare of your sticky pans. Introducing the Granite Stone Pan, the all-new durable non-stick pan. No butter or oil needed. Watch, we melted down these sticky candies in granite stone, and it just doesn't stick. We cooked a half a dozen eggs, bacon, cheese, and tomato breakfast with no butter or oil, and it just doesn't stick. Fire flambe or perfectly sear filet, just like the pros. Plus, it's PFOA free and 100% dishwasher safe. Call or go online to get your granite stone pan for just $19.99. Granite stone is so durable it comes with a 10-year warranty. And with every order, you're going to get a granite stone single-serve egg pan absolutely free. We'll even ship your entire order free. You get it all. An incredible value. To order, call 1-800-898-6703. That's 1-800-898-6703 or order online at buygranitestone.com.
Have you written a book? You can become a published author with Doran's Publishing, the nation's oldest publishing services company. Our professional team will edit your text, design your book pages, and create an appealing, eye-catching custom cover. Plus, our authors benefit from a custom book promotion marketing campaign that makes your book available where people buy books, like Amazon and brick-and-mortar bookstores. So make this free call right now to claim your free author's guide to publishing. Call right now. From polka to punk and everything in between, WXPR Public Radio plays a wide variety of music you won't hear anywhere else. Listen on your radio, online at WXPR.org, and on your smart speaker. You're watching NBC 12, your home for dramas, game shows, comedies, and sports. NBC 12, from where you live. All right, Jeff, so if Christmas gets associated with eggnog, New Year's? usually gets associated with champagne but might be a little hard to find your favorite type at least in time for the what? holiday so, so some liquor stores are saying they're going through a shortage right now some big brand names like moet verve Clicquot, they're sold out in many markets so if you do want to get some bubbly you might have to settle for the budget option but jeff <laughs> you know if you ask me as like long booze. as there's champagne at the new year's party that's fine with you me. You gotta toast a little bubbly, right? Exactly. At the end there, it just exactly. kind of makes the season what it is. And you know what else is nice, too? What? It's getting colder. So if you do have some champagne, you can just stick it right outside. Yeah, to chill. store it outside. Don't need a refrigerator for that. Okay, yes, it is getting colder. We have temperatures hanging out in the 20s right now. And those are going to continue for a few more hours before they fall off quickly because the skies will clear out for an hour or two tonight. There is some drizzle and freezing drizzle out there, so be careful with that. Uh, that'll continue for a few more hours as well. But then some light snow gets in here tomorrow. There's that narrow band of snow tomorrow evening around 5 o'clock or so, maybe an inch or two across parts of our area. And then the seven day, uh, yeah, it gets cold over the weekend with high temperatures, uh, basically below 10 Saturday and Sunday. I, I saw a few negatives in there yes. as well. It's going to get real cold. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.